what are the levers I have as a leader at my disposal to build a, a, a culture of innovation and trust and respect uh, and success? I'll append to that. Um, you know, the, the, the first one is the people point, okay? You gotta, you gotta get in with the right people, okay? And so when you're small, it, the people point never goes away. It's really important. But when you're small, you know everybody. And so a lot of the more Dilberty processes, kind of big company processes, uh, they don't come into play necessarily when you have a small team of people, okay? It's when you pass the Dunbar unit of 150 people, or thereabouts, when you can know you as the CEO, you as the uh, uh, engineer, you as the HR person can't possibly know everybody and know everything that's going on. And now you need to put in place a lot of these what younger people might view as uh, bureaucratic or Dilberty. You guys know what Dilbert is, right? All right. Anyway, like joking at big companies, processes uh, and, and 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 infrastructure in place. And part of that is laying out a really well-defined mission, talking about values, and then actually living those values in uh, in the company and reinforcing them at every possible chance you have to communicate. And so, so the CEO of Zillow Group is a guy named Spencer Raskoff, who is just unbelievable, and he has his his mission thing that everybody says before every meeting, and he has the, the six values of the company, stuff like move fast, think big, you know, um, and you know, those are emblazoned on the walls and those pervade his communications. Um, that is one technique, and if it's abided by, it works really, really well. Another one that I actually like that's kind of Dilberty as well is that, that everybody does this kind of fun personality test at Zillow Group at least, and every company has some different mechanism. And the personality test ends up, it's kind of fun. Everybody likes to answer a bunch of questions about themselves and be told why they're so special and different. Uh, and it turns out that no matter what your strengths are, um, it's special and different and additive, which is true. It turns out a diversity of, of, of personality is really uh, important in a corporate environment. Um, uh, and those things are translated into a series of colored bricks that sit on people's desks at Zillow Group. And if it's red on top, that means this person leads with red energy. They're competitive. You know, they want to they you know, be told things quickly and then get out of my face. But then they're the people that have the green brick on top, which, is, which are, they just kind of want to get along. Uh, with, they want everybody to get along with each other and cooperate. And it's a really interesting mechanism I found for people who are clashing with other people to look at their personality profile and say, oh yeah, okay, that person, you know, Amy's the green on top person, so I'm gonna have to actually be behave a little differently. You know, these are silly sounding, corporate-y sounding things that are really important as companies get big. 